Hello, welcome to the new and refreshed peek inside. Here is my kitchen. They say the kitchen is the heart of the home and this is my little kitchen. I really love this little kitchen. I wish there was some things that were upgraded on it and different storage systems, but this is where the microwave used to be a few years ago. I decided that it was time to say goodbye to the microwave and put the Ninja Dual Air Fryer there. I have a Samsung glass top stove and it is self-cleaning and it needs to be cleaned. This is our coffee corner. We love coffee. A few of the Ray Dunn things that I actually use. This is where I keep all of my utensils and olive oil for the stove top. Nice and handy. I use it all of the time. Double sink. I really want to get like a new kitchen countertop and a, like a farmhouse sink, like the one large one. This is where I keep my cutting boards, my knife block, and then my KitchenAid mixer. And this is what I kind of refer to as like my island. Like this is where the magic happens. And this is what we are working with. And I love my little kitchen. I love the layout of it. I feel like it works really well for one person. And then this is our refrigerator. We bought this at Costco. We really like it. My husband did a lot of research and we used to have a side-by-side -side fridge and freezer and it just, it didn't work. It was never enough room. So we went with the, you know, the French doors on top and then the pull-out freezer. The doors, I, they're the ones I kind of change the most with certain sauces, what we have, but I usually keep my butter, um, ginger and garlic up here and then different sauces and condiments and always different drinks that we pick up here and there that we like to have and coffee cream. But this is usually where I keep milk, um, any kind of cream. I have a lot of buttermilk and orange juice. Um, I took out my Lazy Susan. I felt like it wasn't working. So I'm still kind of experimenting a little bit with what works and what doesn't work. And I think the biggest thing too is that a lot of things have changed over the years. And one of them is my pantry. You know, I used to pack school lunches. It's just the three of us now. And you know, to be honest with all of you, lots of times when I was getting groceries, I get a lot of like ideas in my head, like this would be a great video or this would be a really great recipe to make and all of that. And sometimes things just didn't happen. I would buy stuff and never end up making it. Like I wanted to make like, um, like sushi rolls and stuff. And I bought all the stuff and never did it. But today I'm focusing on ramen. In January, I have a video on my ramen. I'll link it down below. And I was kind of on a ramen kick and I figured out how to make a really nice tasty broth. But um, now I have all of these packages of ramen. So there's five in here and then one loose one. And I've been thinking about it and I really want to try and make the broth and use this as a freezer meal. So let's go to the kitchen or the refrigerator, sorry. And this is the chicken that I like to buy because it's so convenient. It's the thinned out chicken breast. They cook up really easy. I love them. I was buying them at Walmart, but I found them at No Frills for a better price. So when I'm doing certain cooking, I like to use these ones. And this is one of the things where I feel like it's worth spending a little bit more money. We're just finishing up HelloFresh. I've been using it for a while and I got burgers one night this week and they sent spin spinach was part of it and we didn't use it. So I'm going to use that. I always try and have green onions in my refrigerator. I have some cremini mushrooms and carrots. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Um, I would buy like bok choy specifically to make this, but I don't have any. So we're just going to go ahead and use the spinach and then also some sesame oil. And I don't have a lot of this left and I don't know if I have any more in my pantry. And of course, the ginger and the garlic. I just like to use the ones in the jars. I find that they work for me and they're really easy and convenient. Last night I made my banana muffins. I will link the recipe down below. I found a go-to muffin recipe and I love it. And this week I bought a silicone muffin tray at Walmart and this was my first time testing it out. I really, really like it. I know some of you have suggested that you use it. So I break my muffins down usually into containers of three and freeze them because we're a family of three and this works really well for a breakfast or, you know, it's the weekend, I'll take them out. But the biggest thing I want to see is how does this wash up? So one of the things that I do a lot of in my kitchen is use Dawn Power Wash. So I'm just going to spray this with the Dawn Power Wash and then um, see how it cleans up. So I'm going to go ahead and take my muffins. I'm going to leave these four here on my air fryer. And then these ones we're going to take out to my garage freezer. Our deep freezer quit last year and I'm just working with the freezer I have in the kitchen and then this one. So these are blueberry muffins that I made and I'm going to put the banana ones in the back here. 
So that is a freezer meal I'm experimenting with. I made ribs and broccoli one night, so I kind of made it up. I have other stuff in here. I will link the video down below if you want to know more about it with the banana bread, um, home fries. We actually used some this week. They heated up great. Love them. So I ha let the water get really, really hot, and then I'm just running it over and then using my little handle just to see how it cleans up, and we're just going to let this sit. So I have the chicken. I just put it on a plate. I'm just going to season it with salt and pepper. I just buy my grinders at Costco. I find that it works really good. And I do not have a lot of sesame oil and I didn't have an extra jar. So it's 9.26 a.m. So I have my enamel covered Dutch oven I, or like skillet pan, I guess. I bought that at Costco and then I have my large pan and that's all of the sesame oil. So I have the skillet heating up and then I'm just going to go ahead and put the chicken. I buy my tongs at Walmart. I have like four or five pairs of these. These are a huge staple in my kitchen. I have bought them at the Dollarama here in Canada, but they're not as good quality. I really like these black ones at Walmart and they hold up really good like for anything and they go in the dishwasher and I really like them. So I'm just seasoning the other side of the chicken with the salt and pepper. And then I, they always say like, if it's sticking, it's probably not ready to flip over. So, you know, I'm not listening to it. <laughs> I'm just going to go with it. I also turn the light on and I'm just trying to get more comfortable with this frying pan. And then while the chicken was cooking, I got my mar my marshmallows, my mushrooms all cleaned up and then also my carrots and um, just the plates and the recycling. Like I try and rinse and clean up as I go and do little things here and there. But now it is time to start chopping some carrots and peel them up. And we compost, we recycle, and that's part of like our garbage pickup. So what I do is I keep everything that can be composted and then I just end up putting it in a brown bag and then we have a green cart and it actually gets picked up regularly. So I just wanted to share that with all of you. But um, I'm using up these carrots here and the mushrooms. I'm just quickly slicing them up. Nothing too fancy. I just want to kind of get them chopped up. Um, my knife set is from Canadian Tire here in Canada. It's called J.E. Hankel's. It's a really good set. I really love it. And then it also has a little thing in to sharpen it. So I have to sharpen this every so often, but it's really important to have like at least one good knife. Like even if you don't want the whole knife set, like this is the one knife that I go to. So it looks like my chicken is done and, and now it's just lifting up right out of the pan. So I'm just going to put this on a plate and then I'm just going to take my pan. I'm going to have to get my towel because it's pretty hot. And then that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the sink with my Dawn Power Wash, get the hot water and hopefully not have a big scrubbing to do. And then I'm just covering up the chicken to keep it nice and juicy. And before when I made the ramen, I kind of made it in little like matchstick or kind of julienned it. But today we're just trying to do this as quick and easy as possible. And I am just going to go ahead and slice up my carrots here. I have the carrots out and here are my supervisors. There is Sweet Hunter, our little beagle and little Linus just got groomed yesterday and they love their carrots. So they were doing a good job. So they're going to be rewarded. So anyways, I got the rest of the carrots all sliced up. Mushrooms are ready to go. Um, look at this pan. That was just from the Dawn Power Wash and hot water. The chicken is resting comfortably and I got everything out that I'm going to be using to start making my broth. So I have the onions, the garlic and the ginger and then the little spoons. And then I also have the chicken broth. I'm just using the Kirkland ones from Costco. And then I have reduced sodium soy sauce. And then also this honey sriracha is something that um, I decided to buy. And that, honestly, that's the only thing I've really used it for is the ramen. And whenever I bought the silicone liners, I decided to buy some new spoons because this is my favorite wooden spoon and it's going to crack. So I bought two bamboo ones from Walmart. I think they were $4 each and I'm very excited to try them. I have one other wooden spoon, but I find it's just too large. So anyways, let's see, we're at 941. Um, you know, this is stuff that I've been procrastinating about. I've honestly been wanting to make ramen for a couple of days and I just haven't felt like doing it. And to be honest with all of you, a lot of the times I'm like, you know what, I'm going to film this and try and make it more um, like produced, like production style videos. And that's part of what I don't want to do. I want to be realistic. Like this is something that 
I'm trying to do. It's a Thursday morning. I don't have anything on my schedule today. And this is stuff that I've been procrastinating about. And this is the morning that I'm going to get it done. So sometimes it's going to be one thing here and there, like one thing each day. Sometimes it's going to be two or three things. So what I really want kitchen happenings to be is something that's realistic and stuff that I'm trying to get done for one to cook for my family and secondly to share with you to give you some you know inspiration or different ideas and I wasn't too sure if I had enough chicken broth and I, I knew I had cans I didn't realize I had four of them um I bought these like to make different recipes and stuff and I'm gonna leave these so I'm gonna go out to the garage and get one more box because my goal is I want to make six different things of ramen and I'm thinking if I do two cups of broth for each package, I think that will work. So I'm going to go ahead out and get that extra thing. And then I'm going to keep these in my pantry and save them. So we're going to add this in. And then I'm going to add in some of the soy sauce and then also some of the honey sriracha to kind of flavor up the broth. And if you want to really know more about it, like that ramen video will be more detailed on how I'm trying to do it. And then that's the thing about this recipe here. It's no recipe. It's just something I kind of created. And I did have an extra honey sriracha. So I definitely have to add the sesame oil. And what I do is I go ahead and I put it on my Walmart app. So I'm going to actually add two of them. So I can have one that I'm going to use and then have the extra one in the pantry. Linus is always bringing toys in the kitchen. And then I'm just going to do a quick little cleanup as the broth is coming to a boil so that way I can kind of get a better idea of how it's going to taste for flavor. Now we are back to the sink and the silicone muffin liner. This has like a hard frame and I really like it. It's really nice to put in and out of the stove. I've only used it the one time and I really wanted to see how it worked because I almost bought the mini ones because I'm trying to like make little quiches. I'm also trying to make like more snacks and stuff from scratch instead of buying them and I'm glad I waited because you know if I would have bought the both of them maybe I would have had some problems but I'm definitely going to go ahead and pick up the little mini one to make some like little quiches and little bites and all of that to kind of put in the freezer instead of buying pre-packaged convenience foods I'm going to try and make more of these you know here and there you know as needed or whenever certain things run out and kind of start a whole cycle with filling up my freezer. So that's really what I'm trying to do. Like, you know, many years ago I did freezer cooking many, many different ways and now I'm trying to do it so it fits our family. And I'm really happy with how quickly this cleaned up. It's easy to dry. Now we are back to the broth. I definitely know that this is going to need more. It's going to need more soy sauce. It's probably going to need some more sriracha. I'm going to let the broth simmer a little bit longer just to kind of, you know, let it incorporate and work out. So I'm just kind of moving all of the produce over that's going to go into the soup. And I want to get a little bit more work done. Um, so I'm just clearing a little bit of space here in my kitchen. And, you know, some things I'm going to clean up as I go and some things, you know, I'm just going to end up throwing in the sink. So we're going to go back to the refrigerator. And one of the things um, that I'm trying to do is like, what can I change up here? So I definitely know the grapes. There's not much left. I bought these blueberries. There was a recipe that I wanted to try. So I'm going to do that today too. And then the broccoli. So ramen, ramen, the blueberry muffins I want to make. I also have some apples, but the broccoli I bought, it was on sale at Walmart last week for 94 cents for um, like a crown. So I ended up buying three of them. And this was something I've been wanting to do all week too. And I kept putting it off. So um, this is a cupboard that I need to work a little bit on too. Like up top, it still works, but I don't really pack lunches anymore. Um, I'm not the one that's always putting the dishes away and a lot of stuff will just kind of get thrown in here. So I need to kind of figure things out but I am going to break these grapes down and just into a little container. It'll be quick and easy to grab. Um, we have some leftovers. I had some chili macaroni that I made. And then there's like a rice beef skillet. And then um, the apples. I think I'm going to make an apple crisp for dessert. Um, we just have a mishmash of apples and I kind of want to use them up. I have one crescent roll left from Christmas. I usually use those to make um, like pizza roll ups. And then this is my cheese drawer. And then um, maple syrup. These are kind of like odds and ends that we get from HelloFresh or if we go out to restaurants, like, you know, little ketchup packets or something. I save a lot of them to put in my husband's lunch. So anyways, um, I'm trying to figure out like 
what I want for snacks and how to make things fit. Oranges were on sale last week, like clementines and mandarins. So I'm um, sorry, this is moving a lot, but I'm just kind of like looking to see what I have. I have bacon, cucumbers, and the oranges. So everything is kind of a little bit better organized for now. Um, I do know that I need to make something with the buttermilk. I have lots of eggs. So we got lots of room. I'm happy. So here is the broth. It's boiling really, really good. And now I'm going to go ahead and add in the carrots to this. So, um, sorry, I bumped the tripod here. So I'm going to add the carrots in and I think it might be a good time to maybe, you know, taste the broth a little bit just to kind of see what we're working with. And I am loving these spoons. They are so perfect. They're just from Walmart. And that's the thing. I'm trying to pick things up that are easy. And the broth was very much still kind of a, like, it's a no salt broth. So it was very bland. So I'm going to add some more sriracha. Also going to add some of the soy sauce and kind of see how it works. So I think it's 9.57 right now. And then I also had some hoisin sauce in my fridge. So I'm going to put some of that in here. And then I'm going to let this like boil again. And then we're going to start with the broccoli. So I'm using the large uh, Ziploc freezer bags and just working on this. This is something I have not done. But, you know, sometimes buying a bag of frozen broccoli, it's a little bit pricey. And I know that one crown will work for a dinner for us. So I do have some steaks in the refrigerator, in the freezer. And I thought this would be really great to do a beef and broccoli because I have rice then I will have the steak and the broccoli in my freezer. So this would be a night where, you know, I haven't gone grocery shopping or my fridge is empty and it's like, this would be really great. So I've never done this before and I'm just giving this a try. So I just thought it would work and I'm just going to cut it up ahead of time. So that way, all I have to do is open up the bag. I clean them. They're in the Ziploc. So I'll just take them out and then add them to the pan. And there is the supervisor making sure that I didn't drop anything off the floor and just kind of cleaning little things up as I go. And then at the end, I will end up giving up like everything a good, you know, clean. So anyways, as I was doing this, I don't even know if you can tell in this clip, power went out. And I'm like, oh, see, you can see it right there. And I'm like, oh, no, we don't have any power. What am I going to do now? It never fails. As soon as I get like a day where I feel like I'm going to be productive, something has to happen. Now, the we call it hydro because our electricity comes from water. But our power, electricity, hydro is out. And ugh, we're in the middle of a flash freeze and really strong winds. So I've been trying. It all happened, like, it hasn't had time to update, so I'm hoping it's a short amount of time, but this could end up being a couple of hours. I really have no idea. It is freezing cold outside, so it's too cold to take the boys out because it's, like, minus 24 degrees with the wind chill, and I don't want to open up, like, my fridge or freezer or anything because I want to keep all of that closed up. Soup and everything is good. Um, I was in the middle of doing laundry, too, so I can't really do that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do to be productive is um, I think I'm going to take a look at sales um, just to see if there's anything that's kind of stock up. I wasn't really planning on doing that this morning, but, um, you know, when a curveball gets thrown at you, you just kind of work with it. I could also prep the apple crisp that I was thinking about making, but there's no use going ahead and prepping that because I have no idea what time we'll have electricity again and I can use my oven. So I think what we're going to do is write down my broccoli inventory and um, go through the sales too just to see what produce is on sale or if there's anything that I feel like you know this is a really good price to pick up on so that is what I'm gonna do it is now 10 17 a.m. I was doing really really good I was hoping to have all of this done by 11:30, and then be able to enjoy lunch and edit and do all of that but as always we just gonna go with the flow and do what we can I was just working on everything here and I'm like, you know what, let's take advantage of this and kind of, you know, update all of you. Um, you know, I've talked about this before, but this is really what I've been focusing on so far this new year. Uh, this is my updated freezer inventory. Um, you know, I've done it over the years and it's all different, but I just kind of keep track of everything that I have. Um, so like I made chili on January the 24th. I actually took a container of it out last night to use. Um, like I have six steaks in here. So that would be perfect because I'd use two steaks and then use the broccoli to make a beef and broccoli. Um, 
we actually we used up the quiche. There's not that much popcorn chicken, the homemade beans. Um, we used one of the home fries up too. Uh, and then like I wrote down the freezer meals that I have in the garage and then I just quickly wrote broccoli one two three um, kitchen freezer February the 29th and then the other thing um, over the years you know family recipes and cooking and all of that I think that's really what's kind of changed my perspective in the kitchen too as um, you know we lose loved ones um, right now my mom suffers from dementia and she doesn't really remember any of her cooking and all of that um, and I'm so grateful that, you know, I don't know, one day she had this old planner and she wrote out a whole bunch of recipes. Some of them she never ever made, maybe she wanted to make them, and then others are ones that she made all of the time. Um, like white sauce, she used to make this all the time to put over cauliflower. So I'm really, really thankful to have like this special keepsake. Sorry about the lighting. Um, but we don't have any electricity, so like she never, like Christmas drum drum drop cake. Oh, Rice pudding is something I want to make. I've been putting that off, but um, I've never made it, and I'm thankful I have a recipe. And I remember part of the way she used to do it. So anyways, um, I'm thankful to have that, and I'm kind of working on my own. I think I talked a little bit about this during, you know, a while ago. But anyways, um, there's certain recipes that I make over and over again, like my baked beans. You know, trying to put instructions if... Oh, it's back on! Yay! Um, so anyway, sweet and sour sausages, um, actually my mom had this one written out in that book and I'm just trying to perfect like certain recipes so I know that grandma's banana nut bread, this is my go-to banana bread recipe, I love it, everything is really really simple. Um, I do have a broccoli cheddar soup that I was wanting to make and because I have certain stuff to go with it So anyways, I'm just trying to like come up with like my go-to recipes And that is my grandma's nut bread and then I have the blueberry muffin one. I don't know where it is um, But I did print out another um, muffin recipe. I don't know if it's in here um, I have to look for it. So anyways, that's kind of what I'm working on but right now I'm gonna get back into the um, kitchen the freezer and get everything cleaned up and finish off these kitchen happenings today because that has been my goal this morning so I was able to update you a little bit on everything that I'm working on and that you will be seeing a lot more of as we continue this whole journey on a peek inside here we are good to go so the broccoli is gonna go into this freezer I love this pull out freezer but um we're definitely going to be getting a new type of deep freeze and I'm just trying to make things work with what I have so of course the broth will stop boiling so we're gonna get that back up and I'm just gonna give this another little flavor hit the spot it was absolutely perfect with the extra sriracha honey sriracha the extra soy sauce and then also the hoisin so this is one of the things that I really like about this chicken is because I find when I buy like regular chicken breasts they're so thick and they get dried out and that's one of the things with our son um, sometimes he doesn't chew his food as good as he takes larger bites and sometimes we have um, choking in our home with his autism and all of that it's something that we've come a long way like years and years ago he would never ever eat chicken so part of the reason why I like these chicken um, breasts that are already cut down is one they're quick and easy they're convenient secondly you know when I'm making something like this I just season them and brown them and then whenever I go to make something for us they'll make say I go to make a chicken chicken burger or like um, like a panko encrusted chicken it's the perfect um, size for him so this is pretty much what I will be buying even though it's a little bit more this is one of the things where I feel like it's worth spending a little bit more on so whenever I can pick up you know oranges and broccoli to save money on those different things milk was on sale last week that's why I have like three extra containers in my fridge and that's what I'm trying to do is stretch little things and then also buy things on sale when I can. So those things that are more convenient or cost a little bit more money, um, that's how I'm trying to find the balance. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the mushrooms and then I'm also gonna add in the spinach and then just kind of put everything in here, stir it around a little bit and then I'm going to put the lid on and let this boil for a couple of minutes. So my jumbo blueberry muffins, this is my other go-to recipe. I'll put a section down below with the links of my go-to recipes i usually go to sally's baking addiction and i wanted to make this recipe and honestly i didn't even look it over and i'm like oh you're supposed to soak the oats and the milk for 20 minutes and i also need melted butter so i'm gonna go ahead and do all of that and then melt the butter and then come back after the 20 minutes 
I got the laundry and everything switched over too, and I bought this three pack of bowls at Costco, and it's kind of been on another shelf. And I got these out the other night, and I really love the shape of them. I like that it's a big opening, they're glass, um, you know, the two different sizes. I was using these plastic ones that I had, and I think that's one of the things that I'm trying to do too, is figure out the things that I like and these ones I want to try and keep out on my counter instead of putting them up and lifting things out here and there because I'm always grabbing for them so instead of opening up cupboards and having dirty hands or doing this I'm trying to you know figure out the things that work for me. I have had that whisk for 25 years I think and I absolutely love it. It's held up the test of time. I cannot find another one like it and I just love it. So anyways, I use that. Now I'm using that wooden spoon, adding in the blueberries. This recipe didn't call for any sugar. It uses the honey and I really like these Sally's baking addictions. And then I have the two bowls where I put the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients and then mix it up. And then I'm just using a really large spoon here. This was actually something my mom got me. She always said, you never have any good serving spoons. And I don't think she got it at a thrift store. And I absolutely love it. And my husband's like, can we get rid of this? I'm like, are you crazy? This is the only like really good heavy duty spoon that I have. So I'm just using that and then putting it in here, waiting for my oven to get up to 425 degrees. So as I'm doing things, I, if there's any old videos, um, I will make them public and link down below. So I do have an old, old, old video of my apple crisp. And I think this is the perfect example of what I'm trying to do with my go-to recipes. I don't have to look this thing up. I know exactly what it takes. And I had a can of apple pie filling. And one of the things I wanted to do, um, I think I wanted to try it at Christmas or something, I wanted to try and make like apple like turnovers using like the Pillsbury Crescent Rolls and I just never got around to it. And I'm like, you know what? I'd rather just buy them at Walmart and enjoy them or get one out of Tim Hortons or whatever. So I put the apple pie filling at the bottom and then I cut up the apples here. I have four of them. And then I just quickly wash this bowl out and I'm going to make the topping for it. So I will link that. I do know it's three, qu what I usually do is three quarters a cup of rolled oats, three quarters a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of flour. I put lots of cinnamon in and then usually it's a quarter of a cup of oil. So I'm going to double this up because I like a lot of crumble or crisp on it. So I'm doing uh, three quarters. So it'd be a cup and a half of rolled oats. I'm using a three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. And then I'm going to use maple syrup. I'm kind of experimenting a little bit to kind of see how it goes. So um, I'll see how it works out. And that's one of the things, like I'm trying to make little changes using maple syrup or honey instead of sugar and, um, you know, using oatmeal. I did feel it was a little bit dry, so I put a little bit of vegetable oil in here. I know sometimes you can use applesauce in that and um, I'm just trying to get that right consistency. So I'm going to put this all over and then when the muffins are done, you bake them at 425 degrees for five minutes and then 350 for 17 minutes. And then I'll put my apple crisp in for 45. So now um, I'm going to start prepping a little bit of other stuff. So cucumbers and I'm just getting out my Rubbermaid Freshworks containers. I don't even think they make these kind anymore. But that's one of the things is trying to eat better and have, you know, different options for snacking. If the cucumbers and everything are sliced up, I pro oh, Hunter came, so I'm giving him some too. Um... Like, I'm going to leave a few of these out and have them, like, just extra vegetables for me. And that's the thing. If things are prepped and ready to go, so, you know, as I continue on throughout the week, like, I'll peel some of the oranges and put them in a little container. So, say I'm running late or, you know, I have to go get our son, like, for afternoon pickup. Sometimes that will be, like, a little snack in that for me. But I don't want to do too much. I just want to do little things. And then you guys were really great with letting me know, like, the Ziploc. They stopped making the Ziploc containers that I really, really liked. And then when I was at Walmart, I found this like great value box. I think it was like 11 or $12. If I see any of these from walmart.ca, I'll link them down below. And if you're, you know, in other parts of the United States or the world, you know, I don't know if the links will work, but just gives you an idea of what's in them. And I thought these would be really good. So my plan to do with the ramen is I have six packages, so I'm trying to do six. So I'm just going to go ahead and try lunch to see how it works. So I'm going to do two cups of broth and then a ladle of the filling. So there's um, seven minutes and 12 seconds left in the muffin. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil, add the ramen, and then I'm going to try and clean this up as real as possible. And this is one of the things where 
I'm trying to get stuff done in real life, but I can't like film everything for you guys. But I think by doing the time and everything, it gives you a better idea of what you can actually get accomplished. So I put the ramen in. I'm going to let it boil. There's 12 seconds left in the muffins. And I did a quick, easy cleanup. Um, you know, everything is in the dishwasher. I have my compost bag to take out. Um, and then my goal is to get this running later on. And then I have my bowl for lunch too. So I'm super, super excited about it. My timings are just coming together. My muffins were done. I'm going to go ahead and put the apple crisp in. I cook it with the lid off so it can crisp up. And then look at my noodles are almost done. I'm just going to take my fork and separate them. And I pretty much, I got my broccoli. I got the ramen. I got the muffins made. And, you know, I got a little bit of, um, you know, cucumbers and a little bit more tidying in my kitchen. And this is really what I wanted to get accomplished today. Um, you know, I was trying to do it earlier in the week and thinking of like, how can I make this like a, a great video? And I'm like, well, let's just do it the way that it works for me and just keeping it real. So there goes my ramen. That's one of the things for myself is I never prioritize myself for lunch. And usually I would make bad choices or think that I need to eat something very light and then I'm starving all afternoon. So a little bit of green onions, the crunchy onions on here. Here is my lunch. I cannot wait. It is freezing outside and it's 1140. I had a protein um, fair life in the morning. I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes and take the time to eat it and watch, watch something and just slow down and just take that half an hour. So I have my muffins. Um, I'm really excited to give these a try, but that will be later in the day. And then I'm going to see how my lunch is, but that's exactly the proper proportions to two cups of broth with the label. So I still have 136 left. So 1209. I'm very, very happy. Oh my goodness. This was delicious, delicious on a cold, cold day. We're having like a freeze and then it's supposed to be really warm again, but we just take it day by day. So I'm quickly just going to kind of rinse these. And now I'm going to portion out these ramen broths for the freezer. And I think that's the best thing that I can kind of share with you is take something you've made before that you know that you like or your family likes and think about how can I make this a freezer meal? I like to cook a lot of my stuff um, and then kind of reheat it. So I'm going to have the Pyrex one for lunch one day. I'm just going to keep that out. And then the other four I'm going to freeze. And then all I have to do is put them in the thing. So if it's a busy day and I know I'm going to need lunch, I take the broth out when I come home. I put it in a pot, bring it to a boil, add the noodles. There's a quick, easy lunch. Better than driving grabbing something through a drive through So that's my what I'm trying to do. And then my husband will eat this too. So if it's a day where I don't feel like cooking, I take two of these containers out and then go from there. So this might be something I add to my rotation next winter. Here's my kitchen. Very happy with everything. The dishwasher is running. And then I have my soups all ready to go. I'm going to let these cool. And then um, the sinks and everything are clean. And then the apple crisp and the muffins I'm going to wait because... That was my purpose today was to be in the kitchen to get everything done that I needed for my family. And now I'm going to take a couple of hours in the afternoon to edit, to do my YouTube work. And it's 1219. So I'm going to go work in my office until two o'clock and I will see you then. I'm a couple of minutes early. I finished the voiceover for the first part and I want to get the rest of this all put away now that everything's cooled down. So the muffins dishwasher is done too a couple more minutes and then the ramen has cooled down the broth for it so this pyrex one i'm going to put that in the fridge so i'll be able to eat it tomorrow the next day whatever the time is right and now i want to get everything else kind of put together so i'm taking the muffins out they come out really nice but they seem really soft i'm kind of like ooh, did i bake them enough and you know i did i did everything according to the directions and I love these round Rubbermaid ones. They work perfectly for chili, spaghetti sauce, and the muffins. I don't have to worry about them getting stained or anything. Like these ones I really, really like. And then those plastic ones for the ramen are perfect too. But I think moving forward, I'd like to buy some, you know, glass ones or have certain ones that are just for freezer meals. So I kind of get like a rotation going. So I always know that I have, say, 10 different things prepped in the freezer for lunch and maybe always having like five different things in the freezer for freezer meals. So we'll figure all of that out as we move forward. But for now, this is what's working for me. This will be so nice on a chilly, rainy day. Pull out the broth, boil it up, put the ramen in and good to go. So I'm going to keep um, this fourth thing of blueberry muffins out. And then I'm just going to check these two. I'm going to cut it in half and see 
Um, yeah, they're baked all the way through and I'm still kind of full from lunch, but I wanted to give you the feedback on it. So I just cut a little corner out. Um, definitely very chewy with the consistency and the texture of it. They're tasty, really good. So anyways, here's everything out in the freezer. Um, I have the ramen, I put the muffins in here and I'm really starting to accumulate things out here. So I think that I better update my freezer inventory. As for the muffins, they're perfect for breakfast. Like I like the ingredients, but the texture is definitely very different. Um, I don't know if I let the oatmeal sit for the full 20 minutes, but we got muffins and Mara muffins. So we're definitely good for the next couple of days. One for breakfast, also for snacks, and this cleans up so easy. And I updated the freezer inventory too. So I've, I just write it with pen and a notebook from the dollar store. You know, some people would have like a spreadsheet or do it on their phone and all of that. I'm old school. There's some things that I just find it's easier to just, you know, scratch things out and add them. So the freezer meals I did on the weekend, they're down here. Um, the home fries. But I did decide to go ahead and add all of those things because it is starting to accumulate. So there's the broccoli. Um, so I said garage freezer to the left. Two things of the banana muffins, three of the blueberry muffins, and then I have all of the giant blueberry muffins. The banana bread and then the blueberry oatmeal muffins. There's two containers out there and then I have the four containers of ramen broth. And I definitely know, don't need to make any more muffins. There's a couple more I wanted to make, but until we start eating some of these, so I feel like I have a really good rotation right now. This one, I don't know if I would make again. I'm gonna have to see how our son likes them, but these are definitely a better option for breakfast with the oatmeal and then the maple syrup. And I think maybe soaking them a little bit more. Um, the flavor is good. They're just a little bit more chewy because of the oatmeal. The fresh start is exactly what I needed. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and we will talk to you all soon.